Time is the seeming flow of events, from the past to the present. Even if it's impossible to fully explain the nature of time, there are several universal experiences tied to time that we all share. Hey there everyone! Welcome back to our channel! In this video, we will talk about how time and time dilation works. Let's begin. We recall the past but not the future, causes naturally lead to effects, and time appears to be moving continuously and irreversibly. Because it looks to flow, pass, or that people are moving forward through it, time seems to be more puzzling than space. However, it appears that the theory is unclear. Time is a complex concept that has received plenty of attention from researchers in the domains of physics, philosophy, and psychology. There are many ideas and models that try to describe how time works, despite the fact that we still don't fully understand it. Time is frequently described in physics as a dimension that is intertwined with space to form space. This implies that time is not a part of space, but rather an element of it. Time is viewed as relative in this model meaning that it is dependent on the observer's frame of reference. The theory of relativity, which states that time can appear to pass differently for observers who are traveling relative to one another, is based on this idea. While some philosophers believe that time is a subjective concept that depends on human consciousness, others believe that time is an objective reality that exists apart from human perspective. An amazing and well-known physics phenomenon called time dilation occurs when an observer's speed and gravity cause time to appear to pass more slowly or more quickly. And first introduced the idea of time dilation in his theory of relativity. And since then, it has been supported by a number of tests and observations. According to Einstein's theory of relativity, the rate at which time passes is relative to the observer's frame of reference. This means that time is not absolute, but instead, it is a variable that depends on the observer's motion and the gravitational field they are in. The faster an observer moves, or the stronger the gravitational field they are in, the slower time appears to pass for them. To illustrate this concept, let's consider an example of two observers, one on Earth and one in a spaceship traveling at a speed close to the speed of light. From the perspective of the observer on Earth, Time appears to be passing normally, and events in space and time occur at their usual pace. However, from the perspective of the observer in the spaceship, time appears to be passing more slowly than it does for the observer on Earth. This means that events that seem to take place in a certain amount of time for the observer on Earth will appear to take longer for the observer in the spaceship. The reason for this difference in the perception of time is that as an object moves faster, it experiences time dilation. This occurs because the faster an object moves, the more it warps space-time around it. And as a result, time appears to slow down relative to a stationary observer. The closer an object moves to the speed of light, the more time dilation occurs. Similarly, the closer an object is to a strong gravitational field, the slower time appears to pass for an observer. This is due to the curvature of space-time around massive objects like planets, stars, and black holes. As an object gets closer to a massive object, it experiences stronger gravity, which results in time dilation. The motion of light near big objects is greatly influenced by gravitational time dilation. In high school physics, we may have learned that light moves in a straight line, but this isn't always the case. Due to their incredibly high gravitational pull, big planets like the Earth and Sun would force the space fabric to distort. Therefore, light bends as it moves through this warped space. Numerous experimental demonstrations back up the idea that light bends when it is close to large things. The reason to understand this phenomenon is that this increases the distance that light has to travel. Light, being the very essence of perceiving time for an event to occur, has a speed of 3 late kilometers per second. This speed of light is constant in both, accelerating and non-accelerating frames of reference, meaning it is the same if the observer is stationary or accelerating. Given that light travels farther from huge objects while maintaining its same speed, events take longer to occur. In other words, the pace of time slows. 
As seen in the film Interstellar, this explains why the astronaut is not aging as quickly while on a planet near a black hole, where gravity is much stronger than on Earth. According to the movie, seven Earth years are equal to one hour on the planet closest to the black hole. Light therefore travels 60,000 times farther than it does on Earth. That's a lot of warping of space. Imagine you are holding a stopwatch that can measure even 0.1 nanoseconds and are standing one meter away from a bulb. In addition to turning on the lamp, you immediately began your stopwatch. Thus, it would take the lamp's light a certain amount of time to reach you. The passing of time is hardly noticeable in this case. Imagine turning on the lamp while moving at a speed that is nearly equal to the speed of light. As you move away from the lamp, the time required would lengthen. In short, you experienced a slowdown in time. Other stationary observers, however, reported the same amount of time, 3.3 nanoseconds passing. The amount of time dilation will increase with acceleration. And because gravity is nothing more than an acceleration, time will pass more slowly wherever there is a strong gravitational field than it will elsewhere. I hope you liked this video. Please like and subscribe if you are new here. Also press the bell icon if you want to see more interesting videos of our space. Thank you for watching.